so dear students today we will discuss about the chemical properties of halo alkane during the last classes we have discussed the methods of preparation of halo alkanes and also methods of preparation of halo arenes now we will discuss about the chemical properties of halo alkanes as you know the halo alkanes are the halogen substituted alkanes r x the halogen atom is having higher electronegativity as compared to the carbon atom so there is a partial positive and negative charge creation so this is rx that is cx that is cx and the cs bond is what your polar and this polar nature of this x bond make the alkyl halide or halo alkyl very reactive and this halo alkyl so are useful for the preparation of almost all kind of organic compounds this is only because of the polar and the reactive nature of this cx bond so this halo alkanes shows basically nucleophilic substitution reaction substitution reaction elimination reaction reaction with metals and reduction reaction reduction reactions four different types of chemical reactions uh, reactions shown by halal kenso nucleophilic substitution reaction elimination reaction reaction with metals and reduction reactions and all these reactions are having their own importance okay let, let us discuss one by one first of all the nucleophilic substitution reaction of halo alkanes let us discuss about the nucleophilic substitution reaction shown by halo alkanes nucleophilic substitution reactions of halo alkanes of halo alkanes first of all what is a nucleophilic substitution reaction the organic chemical reactions where a stronger nucleophile is replaced by a weaker nucleophile is known as a nucleophilic substitution reaction so in this kind of reactions in of halo alkanes the halogen atom itself when the parts is a nucleophile it is being replaced by another stronger nucleophile See if I write C X, then this X having higher negativity, having a minus charge, 
and this carbon is partial positive. Now when we have a nucleophile here, now this nucleophile can attract to this carbon. Now this halogen atom can depart as the living group. So this is called the Software molecule, software molecule, and this is what your nucleophile. Now, what will happen? C and you. Plus x minus. So this is called the living group, and this is what you the substituted product. So haloalkane, known as the substituted molecule. Attacked by the nucleophile, then the halogen atom departs along with its electron pair, along with its electron pair. Okay, and this is called the living group. Then after the nucleophile is attached, is attached to this carbon atom, and we are getting what the substituted product. So this is the nucleophilic circulation reaction shown by haloalkanes. So two things we are observing here. One is the attack of this nucleophile, and second one is the departing of this halogen atom called the living group. So departing of the living group. And attaching of the nucleophile, two things are occurring here. In this kind of nucleophilic substitution, substitution reaction, the attack of the nucleophile and the depart, uh, departing of the living group both can take place simultaneously, or the departing of the nucleophile. And attack of nucleophile can take place one after another. So we have two kind of nucleophilic substitution reaction for this haloalkanes. In one case, the attack of the nucleophile and the depart departing of the living group both can take place simultaneously. This is called your SN2 reaction, substitution nucleophilic bimolecular. In another case, the departing of living group first take place, then after the nucleophile attack to the carbon atom. That means see, this reaction occurs in two steps. This is called by your SN1 reaction, substitution nucleophilic unimolecular. Okay, so let us discuss elaborately about the SN1 and SN2 reaction. Substitution. Nucleophilic bimolecular substitution nucleophilic bimolecular. So, what is bimolecular or unimolecular? Let us see. Whenever a chemical reaction is going on, it requires a certain time period for its compression. 
the concentration of reactants are changing with respect to time and this change in concentration of reactant with respect to time is known as a rate of the reaction for every chemical reaction there is a particular rate that means the rate of the chemical reaction depends upon the concentration of the reactants at a given time when the rate of the reaction depends upon the concentration of two reacting terms that is called the bimolecular reaction and second order and when the rate of the reaction depends upon the concentration of only one reacting term that is called first order reaction and it is a unimolecular in nature clear okay for every chemical reaction there is a there is a rate means what the change in concentration of the reactant so with respect to time is the rate and this rate of the reaction depends upon concentration of the reacting terms if the rate depends upon concentration of two reacting terms so it is a second order reaction and is bimolecular in nature while if the rate of the reaction depends upon concentration of only one reacting term it is it is first order and unimolecular in nature so here we have seen the sn2 reaction substitution nucleophilic bimolecular that means the rate of the reaction depends upon here the concentration of two reacting terms one is the substrate molecule and other is the nucleophile okay so see if i write here c h h h was b r okay c3 b r or the methyl bromide methyl bromide reaction and now uh, i'll take a nucleophile with oh minus or oh minus is a nucleophile reaction okay now when the nucleophile will come to attack this uh, halogen uh, derivative Now this is the case delta minus and delta plus occurs here. Now when this nucleophile having the minus charge also with the electron pair, when it comes to attack to this species, when it comes this place, there is already a negative entity. so this nucleophile cannot attack to this species at this position so what will happen now this one will come and attack from the back side so this will come and attack from the back side exactly 180 degree opposite to the living group so when this will attack okay we will get what c h o b r h h h we will get a five member transition state it's called what one
ट्रांजिशन स्टेट ओके सो वेन द न्यूक्लियोफाइल इज कमिंग टू अटैक विद द सब्स्ट्रेट मॉलिक्यूल से ऑलरेडी देयर इज अ नेगेटिव एंटिटी ऑन द फ्रंट साइड सो द ओसमेंस एंड न्यूक्लियोफाइल आर गेटिंग इज गेटिंग ए चांस टू अटैक टू द बैक साइड ऑफ दिस लिविंग ग्रुप ओके एंड वी आर गेटिंग ए फाइव मेंबर ट्रांजिशन स्टेट ओके एंड वी नो ट्रांजिशन स्टेट्स इज ओनली हैविंग ए ट्रांजिएंट एग्जिस्टेंस immediately it will disappear so from this we are getting what to the h o c h h h plus b r minus in the living group the living group and see the product of methyl alcohol मिथाइल अल्कोहल प्रोडक्ट ओके सो हियर यू सी द ओवरच न्यूक्लियोफाइल इज अटैचड जस्ट ऑपोजिट टू दिस लिविंग ग्रुप बी आर वेयर इट इज प्रेजेंट ओके सो बी आर वाज नॉट एट दिस साइड एंड ओ वाज अटैच्ड टू दिस साइड दिस कॉल हैड टू इनवर्सन ऑफ कॉन्फिगरेशन सो वी आर गेटिंग ए इनवर्टेड प्रोडक्ट The nucleophile will attach just to the opposite side of the living group. It is called what? Inverse Nappu conversion. And this type of inversion is also called what? Walden inversion. Inverse Nappu configuration. So here you will see this reaction. In this reaction, the this one, uh, this step, this to this one is actually is a reverse step. It is called a near very slow. This is a slow. So here you see the rate of the reaction depends upon this softened molecule okay, and also the nucleophile. That means the rate of the reaction depends upon two things: the softened molecule and the nucleophile. Because the rate of the reaction depends upon the concentration of two species, the softened and the nucleophile, it is a bimolecular reaction and second order. That's why this is called what SN2 reaction. So what I will write here. rate proportional to substrate and the nucleophile rate proportional to substrate and the nucleophile okay the because the rate depends upon the substrate and nucleophile it's what you your sn2 is what the sn2 reaction okay So again, I'm writing uh, C H H H B R plus O H minus. We are getting what H O C B R H H H okay then H O C H H H plus B R minus okay so this is the substrate nucleophile nucleophile transition state 
प्रोडक्ट लिविंग ग्रुप ओके दी इज योर एस एन टू एस एन टू ओके एटैक ऑफ निक्रोफाइल एंड रिपोर्ट रिपोर्टिंग ऑफ लिविंग ग्रुप बोथ टाइप साइमल्टेनियस so let us discuss uh, what exactly happening in this kind of reaction in this sn2 type of reaction the softened molecule and the nucleophile when react to the departing of the leaving group and the attachment of the nucleophile both take place simultaneously there is a formation of five member transition state okay and there is a complete inversion of configuration that means the nucleophile is attached exactly opposite to the leaving group there is a 180 degree opposite attachment of the nucleophile to the leaving group and this gives you a inverted product that means there is a there is a 100 percent inversion of configuration okay so we are getting the inverted product now see in this kind of reaction when i am talking about this uh, methyl group we are and when i am talking uh, when i am talking about a nucleophile oh minus we know this oh minus cannot attack to this side so it will approach from this side okay when we have the hydrogen atoms attached this here here you see these are very smaller groups now this nucleophile can attach easily to this carbon after the formation of the pyrito charge in this carbon okay so primary halo alkanes are more reactive to us this nucleophilic substitution reaction nucleophile can attack easily to a primary carbon now if i will attach an alkyl group here an alkyl group here when this oh minus i am will go to attach this carbon there will be little bit hindrance offered by this alkyl group so the attack of this nucleophile to this carbon will be so much less as compared to the methyl group so the reactivity will be so much less again if suppose i have another alkyl group So because of two alkyl groups are present here, now when this nucleophile will go to attack, to, there will be more hindrance, that is called steric hindrance, offered by this alkyl groups for the attack of nucleophile. So the easiness of the attack of nucleophile will be less. That means this kind of halo alkanes will be again less reactive towards the. nucleophilic attack and when we have another alkyl group here when three alkyl groups are there present three bulkier alkyl groups are there now when the nucleophile is going to attack this carbon these alkyl groups will not allow this nucleophile easily to attack this carbon so attacking process of nucleophile will be very very difficult so if the nucleophilic attack will be very very difficult so then departing of the leaving group will be also difficult that means this kind of halo alkanes will be less reactive okay so this is only the methyl group more reactive 
primary less a2 secondary again less a2 tertiary again less a2 so what i can write methyl halalkan is more than two then r says to x primary then r2 says x then r3 says x This is the reactivity order of the halalkans towards the SN2 reaction. Methyl halalkans are more reactive than primary halalkan, then secondary halalkan, then tertiary halalkans. Okay? So, tertiary halalkans are very very less reactive because of the presence of bulkier alkyl groups which causes the steric hindrance so the rate of the sn2 reaction the rate of the sn2 reactions are, are monitoring by the steric factor steric factor decides the rate of the reaction of sn2 type hello this is what reactivity reactivity of what sn2 okay Discussing the SN2 reaction. Now we will discuss about the SN1 reaction. Substitution nucleophilic unimolecular. This is what your substitution substitution nucleophilic unimolecular. So, as I already told you, SN2 reactions are those where the rate of the chemical reaction depends upon two, sub, uh, two reacting species, the substrate and the nucleophile. Now, here, the, in SN1 reaction, the nucleophilic substitution unimolecular, the rate of the reaction will depend upon the uh, concentration of only one reacting term that is the only substrate so here rate proportional to concentration of substrate only the rate of reaction depends upon only the concentration of substrate because the rate depends upon only one reacting species it's unimolecular and fast order reaction. Now, this SN1 type reaction so, is also called what? DN plus AN. Means what? Dissociation of nucleophile plus association of nucleophile. This plus indicates so, the reaction process in two steps. DN is one step, again AN and step. In the DN, dissociation of a nucleophile, dissociation of nucleophile, of nucleophile, is what word? Association of O, association of O, nucleophile. So, dissociation of nucleophile is the first step. Association of nucleophile is the second step. In the first step, the nucleophile will dissociate. That means see, from the substrate molecule, the halogen atom will dissociate a nucleophile. In the second step, association of nucleophile and the nucleophile will associate with the carbonium ion intermediate form. So here, here, in the first step, the, from the haloalkane, the halogen atom will dissociate, will leave as a nucleophile, leaving 
a carbonium ion intermediate then after another nucleophile will attach to the positively charged carbon of the carbonium ion intermediate and finally we will get the product so if i write now let's see if i have c r1 if i have c r1 r2 r3 how about your br this is your this is your substrate molecule substrate now there will be the, the bromine atom will withdraw the electron pair to our set okay this is called your dissociation of nucleophile and we will get what your r2 c r1 r3 plus and this is the reverse field reaction this is a slow step sn1 so from this sulfur molecule the hydrogen atom will depart as the nucleophile okay now this is what this is the intermediate form this is the intermediate form the step one so you step one so in the first step the softer molecule the the hydrogen atom will depart as nucleophile forming a carbocation intermediate and this carbocation carbo intermediate is having a planar triangular geometry planar triangular geometry so we have what c r1 r2 r3 plus now when the nucleophile will come to attack c o h minus now this o h minus ion can attack to this carbon from this side this is called what one front attack and we can get here c r1 r2 r3 o h R1, R2, R3, OH. And if the nucleophile attack from this side, this is called what? Back attack. Back attack. So because the carbonium ion, because the because the carbonium and inter, uh, intermediate formed we having a triangular planar geometry it is having a point of charge here now when the nucleophile come it can easily attack to this side and also it can attack to this side which was not possible in SN2 ok so when the nucleophile attack to the front side we are getting this one and when we attack to this side back side we will get what would be this one C R1 R2 so now this is called what to inverse now for contribution this is called what to inverse now for configuration and this is called what to retention of configuration called what to retention of configuration so we have a product of one here and product of two here. So in this kind of reaction, SN1 reaction, we are getting a mixture of two product. One product with retention of configuration and other with the inversion of configuration, then we have taken an optically active hydroalkyl. So if we have taken an optically active haloalkyl in the SN in the SN1 reaction, we are getting 
a mixture of two products so this is called what racemic mixture okay so as an organization it is substitution of nucleophilic unimolecular the rate of the reaction depends upon the concentration of only sorted molecule the reaction process in two steps in the first step a carbonium ion intermediate is formed with the slow step the living the hydrogen atom depart at the living group in the second step the carbonium ion intermediate formula is attacked by the incoming nucleophile by two ways from the front side and also from the back side when front attack happens we are getting this one Retention of compression of the uh, compression and when back attack happens we are getting the inverse of compression okay now see so this is the step 1 and this is the step 2 this is the step 2 okay two steps of the sn1 mechanism suppose i will take ch3o3c br os minus sn1 i have ch3 c ch3 ch3 plus then your O S minus again C O three O three C O S. Okay. Now see in this reaction we have a tertiary haloalkane that gives a tertiary intermediate. This carbonium ion is a tertiary carbonium ion. Then after we are getting the product. And we know if in a chemical reaction the intermediate formula is more stable, then the reaction proceeds to give that intermediate immediately. And accordingly, the, the intermediate give the product a stable product that means the reaction rate is more where the reactant is giving a stable intermediate the reaction proceeds in a faster rate here you see this is tertiary carbonium ion is more stable so the tertiary halal can give this tertiary carbonium ion immediately and again it gives the product immediately that means the rate of this in here is very fast but if i take ch3 whole to chbr then oh minus sn1 will get what ch3 whole to ch plus intermediate then you know what's minus you know ch3 all to c oh so here is a secondary carbon ion so because of here we are getting a secondary carbon ion which is the less stable as compared to tertiary carbon ion so secondary halal cancer will be less reactive towards sr1 as compared to tertiary halal and like that also the primary okay so if i take ch3 ch2 we are oh minus sn1 then ch3 ch2 plus primary carbon ion oh minus we get ch3 ch2 oh so what you can say the tertiary carbon ion is more reactive or tertiary carbon ion are more stable than secondary than primary that's why the tertiary carbon haloalkanes give immediately tertiary carbon ion so tertiary haloalkanes are more reactive than secondary than primary than your methyl so towards sn1 reaction tertiary carbon ion are 
Prosperi Hamal cancel are more equal. This is the just reverse of the SN2. In SN2, primary halal cancel are more reactive than secondary than tertiary. Whereas in you know, SN1 reaction, in SN1 reaction, the tertiary halal cancel are more reactive than secondary than primary than halal. This is this is because of this formation of the stable intermediate. Okay. For a given alkyl group, the order of reactivity is a uh, for SN2 is a Ri more than RBr than RCl than RF. I mean, see, alkyl iodides are more reactive than bromide, than chloride, than chloride. And now, for a uh, given halide, the order of reactivity for SN2 is a Alkyl, uh, alkyl have alkyl, more reactive, then primary have alkyl, then secondary, then tertiary. Already we have discussed now, now because SN, uh, you know, um, SN2 is the bimolecular, the primary have alkyl, so are more reactive, then secondary have alkyl, then tertiary have alkyl. And for SN1, tertiary have alkyl, so are more reactive. Then secondary, then primary, then alkyl have alkyl. Okay, this is because of uh, because in, uh, because in SN1, carbonium ion intermediate is formed and tertiary have alkyl produces most of carbonium ion. They will come to secondary and primary. And this is the order of nucleophilic strength of HS minus, then Cl minus, I minus, O2, then bromide, then chloride, then fluoride, then nitrate. Hello? So this is the order of nucleophilic strength that we have to remember. Next, you know, allylic and benzylic allylic are always preferred to undergo SN1 reaction because of the in allylic and benzylic allylic we have the double bond cutter. They can undergo resonance. That means they can form more stable carbonium atom. So when they will undergo SN1, they will form more stable carbonium atom. And SN2 is ANDN, while SN1 is DN plus N. This is what I know, SN2 is DN, ANDN. Association of nucleophile, dissociation of nucleophile. That means, see, at a time, for the nucleophile associates, then the halogen atom dissociates. Take pressure simultaneously. This is one step called ANDN. While SN1 is your DN plus N. Dissociation of nucleophile, then after association of nucleophile. First, the nucleophile dissociates. Then the nucleophile associates. So you see two step mechanism. Okay. Uh, now uh, we have a uh, we'll discuss a comparison between the SN2 and SN1 reaction mechanisms. By molecular. It is a unimolecular. Okay. SN2 is a bimolecular. S1 is a unimolecular. In this case, in this case, the rate of the reaction depends upon the concentration of two reacting terms of the substrate molecule and the nucleophile. This is unimolecular. Here, the rate of the reaction depends upon concentration of only one reacting term that is the substrate molecule. Takes place in one step only. In one step, what do you want? Takes place in two steps. So, SN2 reaction takes place in one step only. That means the attack of the nucleophile and the detachment of the living group both take place in one step simultaneously. SN1 reaction 
the recent papers in two states. That means the detachment of the living group takes place first, forming the carbocotton intermediate, then the attack of the nucleophile takes place. Inversion of configuration takes place. Inversion of configuration takes place. That means the product obtained is all is a, is a inverted product. Come on. And your hundred percent. Inversion takes place. Inversion takes place. Your racemic mixture is obtained. That means retention of conclusion. And inverse of conversion both take place here. A racemic mixture is obtained. Order of reactivity is a primary, more reactive, then secondary, then tertiary. Order of reactivity is methyl halalkan more reactive than your primary, then secondary, then tertiary. In case of question 2. Hello? Order of reactivity. is a tertiary then secondary then primary then a methyl activity so in case of SN2 reaction primary halalkins are more reactive as in case of SN2 SN1 reaction the tertiary halalkins are more reactive A transition state is obtained. A carbocation intermediate is obtained. A transition state is obtained. Five member. And here a carbocation intermediate is obtained. Trigonal panel. Trigonal panel. And your sp2 have there. Okay. 